Hello and uh, welcome to episode 35 of uh, our Customer Success Rants and Musings series. My name is Rick Adams from practicalcsm.com and today I want to tackle a particular question which is are you selling products or outcomes? And the reason why I'm asking this question is very straightforward. It's because uh, it used to be back in the day that we all sold products and increasingly so we have moved from selling products to selling solutions and then even moved further from selling solutions, i.e. you've got a problem, we'll help you solve it, to outcomes, which is focusing on the end result. You want an end result, we'll help you get it. So we don't sell the product, we don't sell the solution, we sell the outcome. Now, if we have moved from products to outcomes in our pre-sales endeavors, and if that is what our salespeople are now doing, then what is the impact in terms of the customer's expectation? Because funnily enough, it's my belief that if our salespeople are going out there selling a product, then what the customer is going to expect is that, is that a product gets delivered to them. And if our salespeople are going out selling a solution, then the customer will expect a solution to get delivered to them. So would it be too much for a customer to expect that if they've been sold an outcome, <laughs> that they actually get an outcome and that the uh, company that sold them that outcome is going to help them get that outcome? And I would say, no, that seems very reasonable to me. And that is exactly the point about why I'm asking this question. Are you selling products or outcomes? Because if you are selling products, then in theory, you don't need customer success management because pre-sales, you're selling a product. Post-sales, what you need is product support. And how are you going to do that? Well, your team or your function is going to be you know, service and support, right? So we're going to need support managers. But if pre-sales, we are now saying to our salespeople, no, 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 sell the outcome. Go and talk to the business, find out what their problems are, help them to work out what outcomes they require, and then quote a proposal that is based upon them attaining outcomes. Then post-sales, they need support to attain those outcomes, which means they're still going to have our products, so they're still going to need the product support, and they're still going to need the product support managers, but they also now need... Uh, outcome support and therefore they need customer success managers. So I think people lose sight about this. I think it's really important to understand and I think it is a, a crucial and critical justification of why customer success management is needed. You change what you promise your customer, then you've got to change what you deliver to your customer. If you promise to your customer to deliver outcomes, you better be helping them deliver outcomes. How do you do that? Customer success managers. So there we go. That's my thinking on uh, the difference between selling products and selling outcomes. My name is Rick Adams from practicalcsm.com, wishing you a very good day and uh, please do uh, tune back in. We'll have plenty more of these as time goes by. And um, yeah, please do uh, um, also um, click the uh, icon below to subscribe so that you'll be notified when we do in fact uh, release more of them. Thank you very much. Bye for now.